Okay, so we got another problem here, and here's the full solution. <coughs> this is all statement of reason. But before I go through all the statement of reasons, um, I just want to go over the main ideas of it first, because it's really not that bad. It looks intimidating, um, but it's just that we have to write a lot of um, like algebra steps and that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's take out a fresh copy. Let's take a look at a fresh copy. And the main idea here was they gave you a bunch of givens. Everything that's over here was what they gave to you. And the first thing you want to do is prove O, X, Z similar to, whoops, don't want to use red, um, O, A, C right there. Okay? Um, the way you're going to do that is the fact that you have parallel lines, which means that this corresponds with that. That is really hard to see since it's yellow. It means that this corresponds to that, and then also you could do this one corresponds to that one, and that gives you two angles. You also could have done reflexive. doesn't really matter. Anyway, you get that that is similar to that other triangle, but once you have that, you can actually use theorem 12.3b um, that says when you have something in the form of A and D um, and then B and C, then you can actually just set up A to D is equal to B to C. So what that's going to give you is, you can't really see it, but that's an O underneath, OX over um, XA is going to be equal to OZ over ZC. But OX and XA are the same thing. So that's going to turn out to be 1 is equal to OZ over ZC. So OZ is going to have to equal ZC. ZC. Okay? So what that's going to give you is that being congruent to that. And what that gives you is that Z is the midpoint of that um, segment OC. But now if you take a look at everything that's going on in this triangle over here, then the exact same stuff can be used to prove that Y is the midpoint of OB. And then once you have that this one's a midpoint, and you also already knew that x was a midpoint, then you can use the theorem that says um, if a line segment, in this case xy, is joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, OA and OB, then it is parallel to the third side which is BA. So that would give us XY is parallel to AB. So let's take a look at the full statement of reasons for that though. You would first write out all the givens and one of the most important givens um, I actually wrote out, X is the midpoint of OA. That was that right there. X is the midpoint of OA. Then you would say OX is equal to XA by the definition of midpoint. Then you could say that XOZ was congruent to XOZ. Um, that would have been that right there. That would have been reflexive. And then XOZ is equal to OAC. Um, let's see, that was this congruent to that. And then you would use that um, to say that you have angle angle for the similar triangles and then once you have angle angle you set up the proportion of OX plus XA um, goes with OX in the same way that OZ plus ZC goes with OZ um, and that's just corresponding parts of similar triangles are in proportion But the only reason why you do that is because that's in the form of A plus D over A is equal to B plus C over C. So that way you can eventually just say that D over A is equal to B over C, just like we did in the last problem. 
And that's theorem 12.3b. All right, once you have all that, you can just change OX to XA by substitution. And then XA over XA, well, whenever you have A over A, it's equal to 1. So then you get 1 is equal to ZC over OC. And then you can write OZ is equal to ZZ. Um, that's cross-multiplication, technically. Um, you could come up with other stuff, too, though. And then Z is the midpoint of OC. That's just by definition, because if OZ is equal to ZC, well, then that must mean Z is the midpoint. And then you do something very fancy. You say, why is the midpoint of OB? And you can just say C steps 1 to 11, because that's the proof. Because it's exactly the same stuff, um, exactly the same givens, and you're trying to prove exactly the same thing. So that gives you that Y is the midpoint of OB. And then you can say that the two lines are parallel, because if a line joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle, then the line is parallel to the third side.